What's up YouTube, Jeff Bang, and today another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to enable one key thing that you should enable on your Z Fold 5 to make it easier for everyday use. Um, this is something that the Folds previously did not have available, so this is the first time it's been available on one of the Folds, and that is a vertical app drawer in your Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5. It's way easier to utilize and find applications using a vertical app drawer rather than the horizontal app drawer that Samsung comes with by default. And you can do this with a Samsung app. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Before we get started, I wanna thank my son Jonathan for giving us the dyno to hang out. We got the green parasol office today on the side. Always appreciate that. Um, in the past, there's always been an option to get a vertical app drawer on your Samsung phone, but Samsung has left out the foldables from enabling this option. You can see actually here on my S23 Ultra, some people don't like my lime green background, but I don't care. <laughs> this is a, my vertical app drawer on the S23 Ultra. Uh, so you can now do that on the Fold, as I show here. The way you do this is you're going to download Samsung's Good Lock module, which for those of you who are new to Samsung, let me quickly show you where you can find that. You're going to go into the Galaxy Store and just search for it. So just go on the main page. This is what the main page looks like in the Galaxy Store. Just search for Good Lock, which is one of the first apps that I install whenever I get any Samsung phone. This is made by Samsung, by the way. It's not a third-party application. And download this application. Once you download it, you're going to go to open, and then you see there's two options up here. There's a customization side of the modules, and then there's a settings side. So for this one, we're going to go on this, this customization side, scroll down to where it says home up. This is the module. You're then going to want to go over here. I already have it installed, but there'll be a little installation button. Go to the, de the store and install this. And then once you install it, you can come back to GoodLock and open up the module. This is what the home up module looks like. So to enable the vertical app drawer, what you're gonna do is go to home screen, and then right down here in the middle where it says scroll, you'll find apps list. Apps list allows you to have a vertical scrolling app drawer uh, versus the horizontal one that comes on the phone by default. Now, a couple of things. You can change the number of columns, which they really probably need a couple more columns on the fold because the icons are a little big, uh, depending on how many apps you have installed. I chose the maximum, which is six. Um, and then also keep in mind that when you enable this, it's gonna reinitialize your app tray. And it's a little buggy sometimes, so I'm actually gonna turn it off and back on. So let me turn it off first, and then let me show you, this is the horizontal version that it comes with by default, right? So if you have this enabled by default, um, not only will you get you know all this stuff, but let's see if we sort it alphabetically. Let me go to alphabetical sort up here. So this is an alphabetical order. You can see how it's like all messed up when I switch it back. You see all the text overlays? You do need to change this back to custom or alphabetical or vice versa. Otherwise, it will actually be messed up. You saw how it was frozen, everything was messed up. But this is the default layout. So you've got all these pre-made Samsung folders and stuff, and you have to scroll horizontally. If you have a bunch of apps, it's a real pain. So I personally think enabling the apps list makes it a lot easier. But when you do enable the apps list, it's going to show up blank like this because there seems to be a bug. I think Samsung meant to implement this, but then they messed it up when they implemented it on the Fold 5. Maybe this wasn't even supposed to go live yet, but it's working. So all you have to do again is go up to the three dots menu, change the sort to whichever one is not highlighted, and then you can change it back. So I don't like custom order, so I can change it back to alphabetical, and then it's working. And it'll continue working. It doesn't really hurt anything. Um, there's no battery drain issues. Um, this is just a bug that it seems like when you initialize it on the Fold, it doesn't work properly in the beginning. Now this also looks fine on the cover display. Of course, you're gonna have more icons. So if you actually go to the cover display, it's gonna be a little more condensed. So they definitely need to play with the spacing a little bit, but it doesn't bother me. And over here, you can kind of go through the different letters and sort your apps by letters. I like this way better. I hate the horizontal app drawer. I think it's one of the worst things that you can have. And that's one of the big problems I have with one of Samsung's default decisions in One UI, but I can fix it. And now I can finally fix it on the foldables as well. Anyway, I wanted to point this one out because it is a new thing, something you haven't been able to do on the foldables in the past. I thought people might appreciate it. Of course, we'll have a lot more tips and tricks videos that are longer ones, but I really wanted to highlight this in its own separate video. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe to the notification icon for future videos like this.